What's up, JPC Gang? Welcome back to another episode of Jam Pack Cooking. That's right, it's your boy Chef Ray, Mr. Munt. I'm taking it down to Mexico again, baby. We doing some ceviche. A nice summertime refreshing dish. Got the freshification. Kicked up with the acidity. Seafood, the shrimp, and the crab. Blue crab. Let's jump right into this video. It's your boy Chef Ray, Mr. Munt. This is another episode of Jam Pack Cooking. Let's eat 59. Let's go, baby. All right, what's up, gang? Welcome back. Listen, it's hot outside. Summertime. I'm from Tejas. It's 100 and something degrees. Heat it bothers me. You got to stay cool. Chillax. Chill and relax. We have to chillax, baby. So listen, this is what you need. Do this. This is how we're going to start off whipping up the ceviche. Look, check this out. We got some jumbo, colossal, fresh, never frozen. Mm-hmm. Now, now, I ain't going to sit up here and in line in front and stunt with you. I didn't do the hard work. I had my man's... My meat dealer, yeah, yeah, he went on to devain these and clean these shrimp for me. Listen, get the shrimp that work best for you. I just find these, these are got a more meatier texture, they sweet, fresh. The bigger they are, the better they are to me. So these are colossal, colossal shrimpies. What you want to start out doing, you want to pull them out the shell, devein the shell. If you, I mean, if you got to do a little extra work, go ahead and peel and devein your shrimp, baby. We had it done. Yeah, yeah, y'all got, you got to get with us. We make it happen, baby. We make it happen, so look. Let's go ahead and peel. We got about a half a pound of shrimp here. We're not making a big batch because I just had to do this to show the game. You know how we get down in the summertime, baby, when it's hot outside. Look, I got to give him a call because, look, he was being lazy on this one. He was being a little lazy. He missed something. Get that out of there. Get that out of there. We don't want none of that. This is why you go through your food and it's why you double check and make sure, you know, everything is everything. Because you take a look in here, we still got more of that. Get that out of there. And this would be the digestive system. <laughs> or the sh of the shrimp. Yeah, the sh clean the shit out of there, all right? No sh in the shrimpies. No sh in the shrimpies. Clean it up. Last one. Shell off, tail off. Look at what we got here, gang. On the booze board. I know y'all seen the last video. Look, <laughs> the big booze board we putting it to work, all right? So look, check this out. Half a pound of colossal shrimp, prawns, the good stuff. Sweet, never frozen, straight out the gulf. Straight out the gulf. Down there by Tejas, all right? Where I'm from, from. A ceviche. It's typically, typically some type of fish or raw seafood, and it's cooked by the uh, acidity. The acidity of a lime or a lemon, wherever you can get some acid from, some acidity. But today we're gonna switch it up a little bit. This is Chef Ray's Jam Pack Cooking Tape, summertime, Southwest style ceviche. Strippies down on the board. You know we coming with it, we gotta season them up. Magic dust. I can't express enough how this magic dust stuff is going crazy. Yeah, y'all leave it down in the comments. Let me know, I know you got it. Cause it's been flying off the shelf. Take your magic dust, hit your strippers on one side with your magic dust, make sure you season both sides. And this is all you need on this. If you don't have the magic dust, you basic, I mean, if you don't have the magic dust, bigsmokiesbbq.com for your magic dust. But if you ain't got it today, listen. I don't see it, base ability level at 10. Y'all gotta come on back now, you hear me? Come on back down here. Leave the base ability level alone. So check this out. On the sterno today, we got a grill grate. Yeah, we not outdoors. We not outdoors, so this is what we gotta do. We gonna, we gonna put our grill grate down right on the sterno 5106, take some good old veggie oil, and spray the shrimpies down, just so they won't stick right on the board. Make sure you spray them good. Get them good, veggie oil. We're going right on with the shrimpies. You know it don't take long for shrimp to cook, no way. We just wanna char them up. We definitely wanna get some char on these shrimps, man. Don't be afraid when you start seeing a little color on your shrimp. This won't take, but maybe I'll uh, say 45 seconds to a minute on each side and you're done. Give me some color though. I don't want, don't bring it off of there if it ain't got no color. Sorry, all right? So check this out. Look at that, you see this here? You see this here? This is what I'm talking about. The, the char, the slight crispification, the extra flavorification. That's what, that's what the char is doing. Just that quick, we are done. We ain't even been down here a minute. Let me get them off. Do not overcook your shrimp. You don't want, you, you see that little smoky? It's smoky, smoky. That's what we looking for. Get them back down on the board. Now, right now, these, these shrimp is about three quarters of the way done. Typically, this stuff would be raw, but listen, look at this. Look at this. The char, the magic dust is reacting in there. It's about three quarters of the way cooked. It's still, you know, you can eat them just like this. You can eat them raw. It won't hurt you. I give you my word, it won't hurt you. Dice them down to bite-sized pieces. And when I say three quarters of the way, look at that. Right here, we still we still a, a medium. And that's what we want. We don't want them cooked all the way because like I say, typically, this stuff is cooked 
with the acidity of a lemon or a lime, something like that. Now get this down to manageable size pieces. Think about it like this. You dipping your chip in the dip, you gonna pick up something like this? Now we all, <laughs> we'll be happy. Let's be real about this, man, that's wrong. You being greedy, that's greed. <laughs> Nice and down. Listen, y'all gotta forgive me for my uh, rudeness. Let me introduce myself to all my new subscribers. If you're OG of the channel, listen, bear with me. Smash that like button right now if you're OG. Say hello, you know, drop a comment to all our new, new, the new gang members. But shout out to y'all, man. Welcome to the channel. I am Chef Ray, Mr. Money. And on this channel, you're gonna see a lot of delicioso recipes. If you don't speak Spanish, that is delicious. And we never cooking with base ability. We always taking it to the next level but we keeping it simplified, all right? You will definitely know how to impress that uh, that special someone in your life, you know? Even if it's your dog Skipper, he gonna love you after you, you, you start messing with the game, JPC game. So look, check this out, gang. Welcome. I take you on vacations right here from our kitchen, from the JPC game kitchen. Close your eyes right now. We on the beach in Mexico. We'll be back in a minute. You ain't gonna be long. This is the fastest vacation you're ever gonna take. Half a pound of shrimp, colossal shrimp. Get them in the bowl. Off the board. Three quarters of the way through, they cook. Done. Blue crab meat. This is what I use. This is the brand I like. Use your favorite crab meat, all right? Right in the bowl with the shrimpies, we're gonna go in with about a half, half a pound of the lump blue crab meat. Take your lime. Oh yeah, that's a lot of juice in there, baby. That's the juicification. The juice of one lime in there. Hit it with a little SPG, salt, pepper, and garlic. Dried Mexican oregano. A half a teaspoon of dried Mexican oregano, then you wanna give it a toss. You don't have to refrigerate this because we're getting ready to use it. Let the acidity do its job. It's going to break down. It's going to tenderize. It's going to hit it with the tenderification. It's going to continue to break down and cook the shrimp. And now that we got that blue crab meat in there, best ceviche you ever had right here in, in the gang's kitchen. Check this out. Let's go into the veggies. We got a sweet bell pepper here. The orange, one of my favorites. It's going to give you some of them sweet peppery notes. This stuff is going into a food processor so you don't have to worry about keeping it uniform. Strip it down and bust it down the middle. Same thing, we're going to pull out some green. Put those off to the side. You got to get us some onion. Sweet Spanish onion here, yellow onion. You don't have to spend a lot of time on your veggies. This stuff is going into a food processor. If you don't have a food processor, use your blender. You know, get too nice and chop, chop, chop till you can't chop no Fortunately, we got a food processor. We call them the Big Draco. Basically, just dicing this onion. One sweet Spanish onion. We got carrots going in. This is what's gonna give you the, the crispification. These carrots is gonna give you that big crunch. We got the baby carrots here. They already been peeled down for us. You don't want to skip this. This carrot's gonna bring another another layer of sweetness to your uh, ceviche. Natural sweetener. Carrots. All we did is half of those. Let's get the building. We got the Big Draco here. I'll bring it over here so y'all can see. Now we got the big Draco out. Like I say, if you don't have a food processor or a blender or whatever, man, you, you definitely need something. If you want to take the time, you, you got your knife skills together. Break it all down to, 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 to bite-sized pieces so you can scoop it up on the chip. So we're going to take our peppers and our onions and our carrots, and we're going right into the food processor. We're going to get those in first because we want to go ahead and break it down. Now I'm putting about a tablespoon of SPG in here with the veggies. Let the Draco do his job. Check out the consistency. This is important. Take a look at the consistency of this. This is not mush, it's chopped. It's finely chopped. You know, I could have sit there with the knife and did all that myself, but we don't have time for that today, gang. This is what we are looking for. This is the consistency. Get this in the bowl. Set that to the side. A couple Roman tomatoes here. We're gonna quarter these tomatoes and get them into the food processor. We got two Roman tomatoes going in. This is tomato sauce. I'll leave the exact recipe to the stuff down in the, in the description. So make sure you go down there and check out this recipe. It's gonna be some of the best ceviche you ever made. We got some Rotel going in. We want the spiceification, all right? So we're not doing jalapenos. We got their cousin, the most sophisticated. He grown, grown, grown. <laughs> Serrano peppers. You're not gonna take out the stems or, uh, in it or the seed at all. We want all the smoke, all the spiceification going in. Hot Mexican chili powder, it makes a difference. Going in with about a tablespoon of that. Teaspoon of minced garlic, going in. Use your favorite hot sauce. We going in with some Tabasco. Going in with about a teaspoon of Tabasco. It's kicked up. Teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Teaspoon of Mexican oregano. You want the juicification out these lemons? Roll them out. So we roll them out, bust them down. The juice of one lemon. Oh yeah, that let, let the juice go. I got the juice. <laughs> This is a summertime dish. Not gonna be heavy on you. You're not gonna feel guilty. You know, you want, I got to go to the gym. I just ate 44 burgers and 82 hot dogs. None of that today. Green onion, this is key. 
Don't leave this out. About three sprigs of the green onion. I'm gonna take the white sauce just because it got some of the, you know, the roots on there. And just go to town. You ain't gotta, it's going in the food processor. Don't waste your time, okay? I won't waste your time if you don't waste mine. Get in now. Let's double check, we got everything? Oh, nope, 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 nope. nope. We almost forgot some. The lime, juice of one lime also. It's time. If I can get this motherfucker to work. All right, look. <laughs> Why y'all didn't tell my hands? Stuff on side of the Draco for a golf. Listen. Draco loaded, it's time to go to work. Listen, you don't want this stuff super fine, but on, on, you don't want that stuff super fine because you want a little crunchy crispification in there. This, we're gonna blend it down. Check, I'm gonna show you the consistency. We got the juice. Take a look at the consistency of that. It's ready, this is ready for a, a chip and dip right now. A spicy salsa. Make sure your salt level is right. It's good, but we gotta have it great. It needs a little bit more salt, so I'm gonna go in with a little salt, pepper, and garlic, SPG. About that much. So let's clear our board off. Big booze board. Booze, get at me. Y'all getting a lot of promotion. Now. Great product. We still testing it out. We gonna see how long before we get to dipping and dabbing, but it's solid so far. I can't even lie. No cap. Pour all this here right over the veggies. Looks good enough to eat already. And it's chunky. Gang, y'all know what we coming with next. Look at that. You got the char on the shrimp. You got the blue crab in there. It's been soaking in the acidity. It's definitely cooked. Look at this. Get all the juice. We need the juice. I'll give it a toss. Give it a mix, baby. This is summertime fine. Summertime fine, baby. Gang, wrap it up. Wrap it up, set it in the fridge for about two hours. Let it marinate. The longer it sit, the better it get. I'm finna show you how to make the best homemade tortilla chips you gonna ever have. Right here on Jam Pan Cooking. Let's go, baby. Summertime fine. That's the whole theme of the day. Summertime fine, baby. So look, check this out. This is how you make the best homemade tortilla chips to go with your ceviche. On the sterno, we got the cast iron up there. You can do it without it, but hey, no base ability. I just told you that. Cast iron, full of canola oil. Five or six cups of it in there. Enough so we can do this here. When I say this here, this is what I'm talking about. Corn tortillas here. Use your favorite tortilla. Corn tortilla, these are white. Sometimes we use yellow tortillas, so this is what we're gonna do. Bust them right down the middle, and it depends. This is all up to preference here, how you wanna cut them. So we want some pretty big chips. You're just gonna quarter them, just like that. Perfect size dipping chip. All you up to about 350 degrees. Let's test the oil. out. Drop a chip. We never do it a whole batch first. That's ready to fry. Start dropping and popping. Like you're playing cards. You're dealing the cards out, baby. You do want that oil hot enough to work and push that steam out, to the, out of these uh, tortillas. That's the whole key to getting a, a crispy, that, that big crispification on these chips. We frying it in batches, so we're gonna do each batch for about, until this all calm down to where you can see a lot of the moistification, the moisture have cooked out of the tortilla. This process takes anywhere from about three to five minutes. When it all calm down like that, you wanna go ahead and pull them chips out of there. Just like that, we got the homemade crispification tortilla chips for the ceviche, baby. Mm-hmm, hot out the grease. That's what you wanna do. Going in with some salt, hot Mexico chili powder. You're going one to one. Give it a mix. Now, everybody can't do this. You're going in with the magic dust, baby. That's where you're gonna turn the baseability level all the way down. Right when those chips come out, you're right. Drizzle them. Don't be scared to drizzle the chips. Look, these are not seasoning. You don't want no bland chips, all right? You know, season them to your liking, but make sure you put some seasoning on these chips out that grease because you don't want no bland chips. Listen. Big crispification. Summertime fine, right here. That's how we're gonna plate it up, family style. Good full laters. We're going right in the middle. Make sure you put enough in there because they gonna be, this is the one they gonna fight over. They gonna fight over this one, okay? So make sure you put enough. Homemade tostadas. You hear, come on now, you hear all that. Yeah, they coming. Chips going down. Turn up the a fiesta. Big fiesta, baby. Muy delicioso. Take a look at this. You know what time it is. I'm finna make you a plate, gang. Check this out. Come down with the tostada. Right on top of the tostada. Just for a bit. Refreshing. The ceviche going right up there. Make sure you get enough on that. Top it off with some more of that good good. Garlic and freeze creamer. Tomatoes. Tomatoes. That's just all we forgot. We coming with the grated cotilla queso right over the top. You put enough to your liking. That's enough for me. Summertime fine. Trust me. Look at the juice. Just oozing on that thing. Come on. We in Mexico, baby. I hear the ocean breezing. Words can't even explain. It's got just enough of the spiceification. The lettuce keep it fresh. The maters keep it fresh with the cream to keep it fresh. Cotija, muy delicioso. This one you can take home to mama. This is respectful. This is nice and still muy caliente. <laughs> All at the same time, I appreciate you for tuning in. I appreciate you for watching. Right now, I want you to go smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. 
and ring the bell. Because we always total local right here in Jam Pack Cooking Kitchen. Until next time, baby. Peace and love.